Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress 917, and I'm coming to you with another one. You already know spirit is in the building. I'll be happy when the other part of my eyebrow grow, because y'all, y'all remember I told you I could. It's coming back in a little more, and it's taking forever, but anyway. And then, I was holding something up and burnt my hair. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Can't tell it's burned though, but I burnt some of my hair out. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to start on this message. Please and thank you, Spirit. I keep hearing, wake up, love. So I don't know what's going on. Three, four, five on the clock as I get ready for this shuffle. Synchronicity already. Ooh. Address your addictions. Oh my goodness. If you are in, addicted to anything, shopping, eating, drugs, um, another person, somebody needs to address their addictions. Um, it's some addictions going on that have been out of control, out of order. Um, somebody really needs to address something. You feel like you are spinning out of control, but you can, you can, you can address this. Raise your vibration is what spirit is saying. You have to raise your vibration. Get out of that, um, that lower level of energy because that is what's feeding this, um, addiction at this given time. Uh, some type of depression, some type of situation is feeding a addiction at this given time. Yes, spirit saying just say no to it. Whatever this addiction is, it's, it's time for you to let it go. Um, it's been nudging at you. Um, I'm hearing another person is addicted to another person that they know isn't any good for them. And it's been um, nagging at you and or telling you, something's been telling you that you need to let go of this situation and let go of this person because they are toxic. Mm -hmm. Toxic. Look, I just said I heard wake up love. It's a wake up call that's about to be, um, happen or has already happened to let you or this person know that you need to start um, taking more care of yourself, nurturing yourself, okay, and be decisive. There's a decision that you need to make. To nurture, to nurture yourself more, care for yourself more, because this addiction has taken over your life. Yeah, express joy. Um, there may be a situation that happened that was a wake up call to you, but you feel like that it was like the end all of the end all be all. But spirit is telling you, no, express joy because this situation is coming to an end, or something um, woke you up so you could feel. Um, you know, you can feel that you need to do what you need to do for you. Um, this tragic situation I heard that happened is, is because this was a wake-up call to you. This was a wake-up call to, for you to finally say no to something or somebody. This is a wake-up call for you to raise your vibrations. This is a wake-up call for you to nurture yourself um, because this addiction was bringing you down, okay? rejuvenate yeah it's time for you to rejuvenate get back to knowing who you really are rest retreat um honor yourself is what i'm hearing re-access reassess now it's time for you to um to uh think back or think on the point you, you have to change your direction this is the time. Spirit said this incident has happened because it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. It's the time for you to re-access re, um, what's going on. Change your direction. Retreat is what I said before. It is time for you to rejuvenate. Retreat. Pull back from people. Pull back from this certain situation. Because I'm hearing that this this situation very much so took a toll on you. Um, this situation had you spinning out of control. And now Spirit is trying to give you the knowledge that you need. It's time for you to live life to the fullest and get yourself back into order. It's what Spirit is saying. It's time for you to live and stop um, dwelling on depression. Stop dwelling on low vibrational things. Because when you dwell on low vibrational things, low vibrational things happen to you. But as you um, gain good frequency 
frequency uh when your frequency level is low you get things like sickness evil things happening to you but when it's high you get the the light things from the light happen to you reflect on your truth what exactly is the truth what exactly are, are you are you not are you hiding your truth what are you living your truth reflect on what is going on reflect on what is really the truth in your life reflect on what what's happening don't don't just say okay no it's not happening shun it off no you can't because it's something that you need to address right now in your life grieve your losses whatever you're losing from whatever tower moment that's happening in your life to, to wake you up and to, in order for you to say no you need to grieve those losses because what you're losing is nothing of nothing compared to what you're going to gain so the thing is spirit is telling you re-access change your direction change the way you feel change the way you think because it's time for you to do so you've been addicted to something that, um that is not good for your health think things through spirit is telling you yes think things through reflect change um don't make hate um hasty decisions is what i'm hearing don't just make decisions just because think things through um see what the outcome is going to be um change what no longer serves you accept what serves you um Accept spirit is what I'm hearing. Accept spirit telling you things in your intuition. Quit letting your ego take control is what I'm hearing. Strengthen your gifts. Yeah. Accept your intuition. Spirit is trying to trust in the divine plan. Yeah. Spirit is trying to tell you. Embrace your power as well as at the bottom of the deck. It is time for you to embrace your, your gifts and your strengths. And you can't do this with this addiction around. So you have to grieve your losses. You have to grieve people, things, places, drugs, shopping, money. You have to grieve this situation in order for you to um, step into your, your, your power and take over your gifts, okay? Last and final messages, please, and thank you, Spirit. Face your adversities and look forward. Face the problem. Face what's going on. Face what, what, what you feel like. Face these addictions. Face these losses. Face it. Trust that divine have you, okay? Yeah, and look forward to what the divine has for you. Yes, do all things in moderation. Yeah, you, you, you don't overdo it. Be open to being loved as well. Spirit is trying to love you. Be patient with yourself. And build on solid ground. Tear it all up to build back on solid ground so you won't have like a sinking ship, okay? Be of service to yourself. Seek the hidden treasure. See, what is not being told to you is that you need to accept these disappointments gracefully. It's something that's hidden that Spirit is trying to give you. And, and as long as you don't accept it, you're going to keep getting towers. These addictions are going to keep following you. But once you accept um, disappointment gracefully and do whatever you need to do for you, change your direction, reassess yourself, rejuvenate. You know what I'm saying? You got to make some necessary sacrifices out here for you to get what you want. Yeah, and don't judge yourself and don't judge others, basically. Let go and enjoy life. It is time for you to let go of those old things, those old paradigms, those old people, the old ways, and start enjoying life. This is your time, 838 as I say this. Okay, you guys, that's all I have. I'll be back with another video. Peace.